Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here, and welcome to episode 2 of season 2 of my Crystal Palace career mode. And yes, it actually survived more than one episode in the second season. Good on it. But um, anyway, um, I'll get on to commentating this video really soon, guys. But before we do, let's not forget, if you want to purchase Ultimate Team Coins, be sure to check out the FIFA Coin Shop. Their link is in the description below. They're safe and reliable. But anyway, guys, yes, we do have a second episode in the second season of Crystal Palace, but... Um, uh, that's really because, guys, I haven't. I would have probably have mixed up the uh, videos that I would be releasing. I probably would have put out an Ultimate Team video by now. But at the moment, really, the only Ultimate Team videos I'm doing are pack openings, and um, I'm sort of just waiting for a few things to happen. I'm just sort of planning out a few Ultimate Team videos. I've got um, I've got actually uh, a new series or two new series that I'm going to start up very soon, as soon as Next Gen hits, and I'll talk about that in a second, but before I do, I just want to acknowledge the Jesse Rodriguez goal, and the fact that he has um, been a star for me recently, he's or he's at least scored the first goal of the season, should I say, so he hasn't really been a star for me this season, but I'm sure he will, look at that through ball, it's a shame Jesse Rodriguez was offside, but um, and a shame that the through ball was just a little itty bitty bit uh, ahead of Jesse Rodriguez, even though it was offside, it didn't matter, but um, I saw that through ball and I tried it and like it unfortunately I did see it late. I won't blame the passing. But anyway, a cross in to a player that was all on his own. I did try to head the ball. Like you can go back if you want. You will see the bar charge up. And the ball does not even get remotely close to the player and bounces backwards. I don't know what it bounced off of, but I don't know if there was like an invisible man out there on the pitch. But anyway, in the corner, Guy A or whatever his name is, he's getting double team Arialdo and Jack Hunt. And Jack Hunt has tackled the ball, and it's gone out for a corner. Nervous. Matweedy, who's apparently gone to Everton, is the one taking the corner. Looks like we've got this. We head it away, clear it, and Stotch. I don't know what happened, but it hit the back of Stotch. It rebounded. It's gone right back into the box. Everton had the ball. McCarthy shoots, and it hits the post. But wait, Jelovic is there and puts in the rebound. So on Francesco Bardi's debut, I don't know what the fuck happened, and I don't know what that uh, rebound is, we'll have a look at it again, first off, I should have won this game 2-0, and I've lost a game that should have, I should have won, like, how did it bounce backwards, what did it hit, what did I press, I de it definitely wasn't a pass, because like, it just, it just suddenly, it just suddenly went forward off my back, I don't know, but anyway, you surely, with an attack, and a good through ball, surely we're not going to win it, and oh, we nearly did, but the save from the keeper, and we can't win the header, and the referee blows a whistle on us, you mother... I just... Oh, I just... Okay, so, first game, we lost against West Brom, okay? And I can take that. It was a little bit of bad defending and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of AIDS, but not too much AIDS, that sort of contributed to us losing the first game. But now, we just drew a game, which we should have won 2-0, because that header that just deflect, deflected backwards off of nothing. I have no... Just, I don't know, some of the aides recently are just starting to really get, starting to shit me off. I mean, it's a little thing, it's the little things that cause us to, like, winnable games and games that we should be winning that just cause us to, unfortunately, get one point from a game that we should have got three points out of. But anyway, with Francesco Barty safely transferred and in the team and... Yeah, then again, I'm just I'm just bummed for Barty. I'm just bummed for Barty, only because uh, that sounds really gay. I'm I'm upset for I'm upset for Barty because in his debut for Crystal Palace, he could have gotten and should have gotten a uh, clean sheet, but unfortunately he had that rub because of just whatever the hell happened at that corner. The ball just suddenly deflected back into the box and ended up with Everton possession. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> anyway, getting back onto it. Ten minutes in against Southampton. Just threw it in and immediately, like, whoever the player I was controlling, I think it was Campana or Campania, uh, I just I just gave it to him. I just let him run right in the box, completely unchallenged and un and completely unchallenged. And uh, he nearly scored. He unfortunately hit the post. Williams, he's got Yannick Velassi on the far post, but unfortunately the cross is a little bit too goal side. So it's a little bit too close to the goal, uh, to the goal line. Good forward pressure, sliding tackle, ended up going straight to Yannick Velassi and a through ball. Into Jesse Rodriguez getting closed down by three guys, but hanging a minute. What about the guys? What about the other What about the other players that are running with him? Three guys going straight to Jesse Rodriguez and Campania. He just had to beat the keeper. Looked a little bit awkward, honestly, but he did get the job done, and that's what's important. And we go into the halftime with a one 0 lead against Southampton. You beauty, Ariado making an interception. Stotch late on in the game. Not an awful lot happening. Yannick Balassi one on one with the keeper after I don't know how. Williams will finish this. No, he won't. Wow, that was a little bit of a high-pitched voice. But anyway, 
I, it's a gar. I don't know how Williams missed that. Empty net. He caught it, like, on the half volley up in the air. And maybe it just tucked it. I don't know. But Williams, fucking hell. I mean, you got to put that in. I mean, there's two games now that we should have won 2-0. One that we actually did end up winning and one that we drew. But they're completely different stories. At least we won that game. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, home games now. We're playing Arsenal. And look at where we are. Only four games in, yeah. But look at where we are. We're seventh. That's not bad. That's... Is that Euro? No, 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 that's not Euro League, is it? I don't know, but anyway. Um, yeah, no, we, we uh, had a few games. We lost the first one. We did. We technically have simulated one of our wins, so I won't actually start talking too much. But um, we'll wait until we've played a few more games, if there's another episode, that is, of course. But Jesse Rodriguez tried a header. Could not beat uh, Schnesky or Schnesny or whatever it is. Anyway, a good inner or a good little stick out of the foot. I think that was Jack Hunt, or maybe it was RK, I'm not sure. Uh, ended up going for a corner. Koscielny with a header. And thankfully, Williams, who... Oh, my God. Williams, he does good things and he does bad things for me. But anyway, Yannick Bellassi. Is that a trip? Santi Cazola. Is that a trip? That's actually a trip. I know you're the one diving, but he... Santi Cazola, yeah, sure, he dives every now and again. But he actually just made Yannick Bellassi not dive. He fucking tripped him over. But anyway, uh, just speaking of, like, diving and tripping, I honestly have no idea where the foul was there. And the foul was actually committed by a player that I wasn't even controlling... And uh, the AI selected Jonathan Williams for me, going up against Ed and Jekko. Yeah, good fucking luck, and Jekko wins the header. So, um, a five foot six player going up against like a six foot two, six foot three player at the header, and against a guy that famously got a header to equalise against QPR and then eventually led to another goal that won them the fucking league. So, I don't think that was going to ever go down well for me. We're 1 0 down. Ed and Jekko actually, yes, on, Ars uh, on the Arsenal team. But anyway. Uh, Aaron Ramsey v Jesse Rodriguez. Yeah, good luck to him as well. Ramsey, no way he's catching Rodriguez for pace. Whips it into Williams, who's... Uh, well, to be honest, it looked a little bit awkward, but I think he actually caught that volley okay. He did get it blocked, sadly. But uh, Rodriguez on the ball, 65th minute in. One of their players trips over. Koscielny gets around him well. Rodriguez tried to make use of the player that slipped over. Did have the gap, just had to beat his player. Did... Had loads of space, and unfortunately... Well, not loads of space, but a good amount of space. And how about the gap in the defense? What has Arsenal done? They've let Williams... Williams again. He's just on and off. Like, he'll do something crap, and, he'll, and I'll hate him. And then five minutes later, he'll do something brilliant like that. Get in a good position, good attacking uh, position, and just slot home a goal. And then I love him again. It's just frustrating. He's one of the most annoying players I've ever played with in career mode. Only because he's so weak... And he's so small, and he's meant to have a good potential, but he hasn't lived up to that potential. He's not that great a player, and but he still does okay things for me, and then he does really annoying things, re really bad things for me, and it shits me. But anyway, whatever. Good defending. We get the ball back. Barry Bannon, a through ball. Jesse Rodriguez relying on the pace here. How quick's Koscielny? I don't know. Rodriguez on the ball. Tried a Ronaldo chop, which wasn't going to work, sadly. But good forward pressure. A sliding tackle, which somehow went back to Koscielny. Surely you can give me a break and slide. I mean, just a slide tackle. Even a toe poke would have gone pretty close to one of my players and nearly probably could have resulted in a goal. You never know. Definitely a shot at least. But it's still a draw against Arsenal. At home, yeah. But I will take that. That's okay. And um, anyway, now we're moving on to cup action. This one's against Norwich City. And uh, I've just sort of had a little bit of a... um, Excuse me. Just sort of a bit of a... Uh, thing I've decided second season obviously we're not going to be able to finish it in time from the from the looks of things so I'm just going to simulate all cup games and maybe a few bucks Premier League games I don't really know but any cup game I'll just simulate whatever champ um uh, what am I talking about uh like a Capital One Cup we did actually win that one though so that's pretty awesome but anyway the next uh, game that we're going to be playing is against Bolton a newly relegated team so that'll be good we'll see how we go up against them hopefully they won't have that strong a team and so hopefully we might be able to get a pretty good win, or maybe we could fuck it up tremendously and lose by like 2 3 nil. But anyway, moving on. Until that episode, guys, if it comes out, uh, that's uh, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching. Let's hit your target, which for today, ladies and gentlemen, is just 1,000 likes. Super easy. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'm yours again with the Masterbox. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description below, and I will catch you later, guys. Have a good one. Peace out. Bye-bye.